So the fox gloves are out or starting to come out. And this is the time of year that I go and look at where the snowdrops were and see if I can find their seed heads. Now this year, because of the drought, these are snowdrop. These will have little bulblets in them. So they'll have baby bulbs. And it's now the time to kind of put them um, into the ground. But because it's a drought, the ground won't be wet enough. So the bulblets will dry out. So I'll show you, this is here, you can see this one's still attached to its green bit, but I'll cut it off. There's another one there. Again, attached there. So these are the snowdrop um, seed heads, if you will. And I'll crack one open and you'll see what I mean about the little bulblets. And, um, oh, there's some more again. You see here, there's some more. So there's a good bunch. I have more that I've collected earlier and I'll show you what I do to reproduce snowdrops quicker than waiting for the bulbs to reproduce uh, that are in this bed, for example, or in other beds. This way is a way to multiply your snowdrops if you have pollinators round enough to pollinate the flowers. So these are the containers of the little baby bulb bulblets. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, but anyway. So I got this deep box. You can see what it's, what does that make it about in and around a foot in depth. And I put the soil halfway down inside of it. Here's my collection of uh, snowdrop seed heads, if you will, or bulblet containers. And what I'm gonna do is spread them out in here. Then I'm gonna put another layer of soil on it. Then I put these nasturtiums in it. And then I have to keep watering it because if I was to leave the bulblets to go out into the ground naturally, they'd all dry up and you don't want them to dry up because they'll die. So with the drought we're in this way, I will have hundreds of new snowdrops uh, next spring. Just coming up with their spiky leaves, they won't come up as flowers for a year or two. It takes several years for the bulblets to do. So this is the first stage is to have depth so that you can have layers. So you can have the bottom layer, the snowdrop bulblets will be in, and then I put more soil in, and then I put the these nasturtiums in so that I'll not forget to water them all summer long to keep the bulblets moist. One of the seed heads or bulblet heads that the snowdrop has produced. So you peel back the cover, pinch inside, and then, I can do this one-handed, there's the little bulblets. Do you see? They're almost like embryos. That is a baby snowdrop bulb. And there's another baby snowdrop bulb. And they're like bulb embryos. Is the I, I feel they look like the embryos of a baby chick inside of an egg. So it's the equivalent, it's the embryo of a bulb. So, and there's loads of them. Each one of these might have six or four or five. So these kind of look like gooseberries. These are the snowdrop kind of seed head things. So you start off with them like that. Then you crack them open and you can see their inner compartments where the seeds are or the bulblets are. And here you can see the bulblets are in there. And you can see how they're like little embryos that you would have in a uh, egg, like an egg-like embryo. It's amazing how all life kind of starts the same, as it were, in a similar sort of form. But 
I don't know if you can tell, they're all kind of moist. They have a gloss and a moistness to them. If I was to leave them out in the drought, they would dry out and they won't be successful. So what I'm doing is I'm putting them in this compost and I'm putting them in lines all the way across. I don't know if you can see there. So I'm putting them in lines and then I'm gonna put a layer of soil over them and then I'm gonna plant other seeds so that I keep them moist in this soil so that they will hopefully take and turn into little snowdrop bulbs over the summer months. Now I don't know if, see some of them, some of them are very pale and some of them are very dark. And I don't know which are more fertile, but you can see these ones here are like they didn't get the fertility needed. Whereas these have a yoke on them, as it were, that looks like it's the nutrition for it to develop into a bulb. So these are the baby bulbs of another crop. And as you can hear, these guys are all playing on my, around my feet, making a lot of noise. <laughs> Aren't you guys? I'm trying to plant baby snowdrop bulbs, embryonic baby snowdrop bulbs, and you all are playing. So gooseberry-like, then you split them open like that, and in the packets are the bulbs. So there we go. So now I've laid out all my little snowdrop bulblets, you can see there. Now, I mean, if 20 or 30 of these hundreds come out or turn into little snowdrop bulbs, that's pretty good. So the next stage is what I do is I kind of sprinkle the compost over these guys, giving it a layer, a good layer, so that the root structure, when I plant the nasturtiums on top, doesn't disturb the bulb's development in the soil underneath. So there, I give them a good covering of soil. And then I'll plant the nasturtium like these seeds. really dark, rich ones, uh, these particular nasturtiums. And they're great in a container, so they'll overflow, etc. So they'll look lovely for the um, for the uh, summer once they take. So that's that empty. So then here are the nasturtium seeds that I will then um, water and keep going. And this will keep the bulbs will keep the bulbs moist so that they won't get um, dry out because if they dry out is when you have the problem of them not taking. So there are the nasturtium seeds. Cover them all up and water it. I'm patting this down for the moment and then I'll put more soil on top. And um, this will be a lovely uh, display. I'll be growing the snowdrops and uh, while I have a display of nasturtiums uh, on the top. And last, but by no means least, I have to label it to remind me, this might be nasturtiums growing all summer long, but there's going to be, the, this is also a container with snowdrop babies in it. So all I have to do now is water this and watch the nasturtiums grow and hope that the snowdrop babies will uh, be developing underneath.